let's take a look at a couple examples comparing small frame or small circle to large frame, large circle Taiji forms. The first example I'm going to use is the brush knee example. Sometimes it's called walking forward the brush knee or brush knee push forward. So first let's take a look from sideways to show the scale of the movements. Most of the large frame looks like this. Small frame, this move looks like this. So you can see the difference in the size between the large frame and the small frame. And mainly because the large frame use the shoulder joints in the movement and stretch the arm out, so it makes it look big. While the small frame, the movement all originated from the abdomen and the back. I think you can see better in the front view. Large frame. Small frame. Actually, I'll leave this hand out. Large frame from the back. Small frame. The second example I want to show is the parting the wild horse mane. For large frame, it usually looks like this. So the arm movement is concentrated in the shoulder joint. For the small frame, it's like this. So the movement you see, is the body is folding and unfolding. Very little movement in the shoulder joint. Look from the back. Large frame. Small frame. So it's the movement you see in the back, the back folding and folding. That's the party move, the power of the parting. So you see the difference in the movements. For the larger frame, there's a lot of movement at the shoulder joint, and as well as the arm pushing forward, arm movements. While the 
small frame, small circle, the movement is in the body, in the torso of the body. So the difference between the two is because the small frame take advantage of the most powerful part of your body, the abdominal and the back muscle, to generate a movement. While large frame uses shoulder and arm to generate a movement. Certainly the small frame has much more power. For example, like the brush knee raise the hand, it's not a simple raise of the hand. Let's take a close look at it. Actually, it's a powerful move. It's a blocking move. If somebody coming, you block it. In fact, if you put the elbow position a little bit forward, this is the upper cut in boxing. So just the raise the hand by itself is a powerful move. So every move in small circle has po power behind it. The power comes from the, the core of the body, abdomen and the back. Certainly, the original intent of Tai Chi was for martial art application. So the small frame, small circle, really is the form for fighting. Now, we are much more interested in the health benefits of Tai Chi. But you take a look at these internal moves. They penetrate deep into the torso of the body, stimulating your organs, promoting blood flow and lymphatic fluid flow. These actions help you to regenerate, rejuvenate all your internal systems, like a young people. So one of the early Taiji masters said, the ultimate goal of learning Taiji is for you to live forever in the spring season of your life. It means not just live a long life, but live a robust life, even at the old age, like a young person.